This is a, a grass management project. This is a, a land use management project. And it's been a long time coming. My name is Paul Finnicum. I'm a tribal conservationist for the NRCS in Poplar, Montana. It started about three or four years ago. The tribes developed a new uh, land use policy that was built around NRCS standards and specifications. One of those things is prescribed grazing. And so when we took a look at uh, land management, uh, we took it one step further and the tribes developed an area resource management plan to address all resources on the reservation. With that, we found that we had some deficiencies in our planning and uh, what we needed to do was shore those up and one of the things that was deficient was our infrastructure. Uh, not only was our infrastructure our fences in this case, not only uh, preventing us from from applying other conservation practices, but it was taking a toll on our wildlife that's important here on the reservation. Uh, EQIP is an acronym for the Environmental Quality Incentive Program. It's a tool that we use to assist us in conservation planning to help put conservation on the ground by providing cost share to uh, eligible participants to help install conservation practices. And so we started with Wildlife Friendly Fencing Project. The tribes initially put $300,000 up of their own to prove that they could do it. We hired all tribal members. Uh, we put up 50 miles of fence the first year. After that, the tribes being a limited resource, we decided to apply for EQIP funds to help carry on the conservation effort. And that's what we've done the last two years through EQIP. And, and so without it, I don't know that we would have the project that we have today. Uh, we're in the uh, fence installation portion. We are starting to uh, implement some of the prescribed grazing practice already. Uh, we're putting in monitoring sites, uh, things that we're going to make uh, as part of the requirement of, of uh, having a permit on the reservation and leasing rangeland. So uh, we're already starting with the monitoring and uh, we're identifying the monitoring site. So that's where we're at. Reservation wide, uh, what we have planned to do is to put, implement prescribed grazing on every grazing unit on the reservation and that's uh, uh, just short of 300,000 acres. Uh, we've also identified over 1,700 miles of fence that are preventing us from applying sound conservation practices uh, and protecting our wildlife so we're looking at that as well. So we'll continue to target those high priority areas. Uh, we also have a rural water pipeline that's running through the area. And so that we're, we're hoping to be able to tap into that to provide adequate water uh, to our range units as well. And we hope to address that through EQIP. What the tribes have done is they've made a concerted effort to protect and conserve their natural resources. Well, one of the biggest sources of income they have on the reservation is the leasing out of their AUMs for cattle grazing. The successful applicant or successful bidder that gets a range unit is given a 10-year permit. As part of that permit, the tribes now for the first time ever have made prescribed grazing a condition of that permit. That you will follow a method of grazing that is not detrimental to our resource. So for the first time that's happened, we haven't had any issues with it as far as uh, compliance and we continue to move forward and, and try to improve the management on tribal lands.